Okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to do the extension from the basic bodice block uh, to do the extension to a dress block um, which is illustrated on page 30 and all you need is your basic bodice block it's the longer one that goes to the hip make sure it's the one that goes to the hip the one that doesn't have any um, waist shaping uh, um, adapt adaptions um, so make sure that you've got the one that goes from the waist to the hip which is quite clearly you can see I marked it out and I've got my front and my back and all I did was on my longer extended page was I traced out my front and my back like so it out basically like that I used my tracer wheel went around all the, the edges and curves I traced it out and I drew in my balance lines these are my balance lines this is waist I'm going to mark it in waist so I'm going according to um, page 30 the one called one piece dress block and they want you to trace your basic block all the way down to the hip so if you read um, at the bottom of the illustration it says they trace the close footing block bodice block to the hip line so we traced it down to the hip line both front and back and we're busy marking it out really quickly this is hip right just tiny marks there so that we can know and then we are going to take our we are going to take our shaped waist and we are going to draw our shaping in so i'm going to put that on top like so like that and i know that it's got a bit of a dropped waist as you remember previously but as you can see the lines match up the dropped waist is at the bottom and the the natural line is at the original waist the line that I drew in there so I want you to take your tracing wheel and I want you to align your your pattern with your newly traced with your newly traced bodice and make sure that it's on a good spot let me just align that there there we go okay I'm going to draw in my my dots I'm just gonna make a little dot there because I know that's how the dots is formed there and there you only need to make two marks well that didn't come out properly so let's try that again right there Okay, I'm going to draw in my dot, like so, okay, right, so please make sure that you're not using your front facing for your back, your front, your front bodice for your back bodice, your front needs to fit on your front and your back needs to fit on your back, like that. So now I'm going to trace out my, my front bodice, which is there, all the way down. So as you can see, this is my my dropped waist. This is my dropped waist, and this is my original waist. So I'm working on my original waist. Make sure that they are aligned, all the way aligned around the edges okay so there and there and there and i forgot to mark in the side seams of my back 
so let me just draw in the front dot really quickly it's my front dot there don't forget your side seam dot okay so because I forgot to draw my side seam dot of my back waist it's going to be incomplete so I'm going to draw in my side seam dot like so right. okay so I've got so basically this is what we've got so we so from here we've traced it out and then from here we've gone to here and all my dots have been drawn in to the waist as you can see my back waist dot and my side seam um, shaping is all drawn in this is from my um, my back basic bodice with waist shaping that's the front and the back as we did in our previous project um, this is with without seam allowance as you can see so now we continue on and the pattern says um, mark points one two three and four okay so let's do that really quickly uh, this is one point one this is point two point three and point four at center front right and then you have to square down square down from one and four to five and six so from one and four to five and six which is at the bottom so we are going to measure what is our um our waist to knee measurement so let's go to page 12 really quickly okay so let's find that quickly we go to page 12 to find the measurements that is required so if you just zoom into that remember this is a size 10 so from waist to knee it is 58 centimeters and the half of 58 centimeters 58 divided into 2 is 29 centimeters so remember the the measurement is from waist to knee right so we're not measuring from the hip you measure from the waist so we're taking our ruler i'm taking my ruler and i'm extending it down make sure that it's aligned everywhere okay so i'm gonna draw my my line right down and I'm doing it at center front okay so I've made my line longer than what it needs to be so because our line needs to be our line needs to be 20 29 centimeters long remember we measure from the waist so from one to five is 29 centimeters so I'm moving my ruler down 29 centimeters is there this is mark number five and from four we also measure 29 centimeters from the waist always remember from the waist and we mark number six so let's go back to the pattern really quickly I'll go back to page 30 okay okay um, so we've now marked from 1 to 5 is the waist to knee measurement and 4 to 5 4 to 6 sorry that's also the waist to knee measurement and then they are saying that you should square across from six to five I'm gonna take my ruler 
and I'm going to draw a line between those two because they are the same distance and they say you need to find the midway between 5 and 6 and that will be number 7 so I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure what is that is 23.5 right so we've got a 1 to 5 and 4 to 6 and I've drawn a line between the two and now I'm going to measure what is the distance between 5 and 6 which is 23.5 we're going back to our calculator and we're saying 23.5 divided into 2 because we need to find what is the midway between these two marks and that is 11.7 and I'm going to take my pencil measure 11.7 which is there there as you can see that is ex exactly in line with the side seam of the bodice blocks on top so let's go back to what the pattern is saying right so s number eight is on the hip line which is here this is number eight over here you can see that there are number eight and i'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure it. I'm going to draw this line down. So this is number seven. Don't forget to mark number seven. I don't want you to get confused. And then they are saying join three to eight. Join three to eight and 2 to 8 with curved lines so I'm going to freehand draw this and merge it into my new side seam very slightly and like so So as you can see, this is now the curved way, so it's very easy. You just have to watch this clip and follow what it says in your pattern book. And then extend the dots both front and back 13 centimeters. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it's vital to have your L ruler and i'm going to use this as my guide over here that is my midpoint and i'm going to put my use my ruler and put it down on this line so i'm going to use the hip line use the hip line and my my dot cone my dot edge my dot point sorry as a balance so I'm going to draw a light line through my my back dot and I'm going to do exactly the same thing using my hip line as a balance line and my dot point as a guide I'm going to put the dot my ruler down and I'm finding that line as balance and I'm going to draw a line through like so as you can see and they want us to extend the dot from the waist down into the rest of the dress which is here 13 centimeters Let's see what is the half 13 that's 6.5 so what they want us to do is they want us to extend the line 13 centimeters they want us to extend the dot excuse me 13 centimeters so from year to year should be 13 centimeters but because this is a half scale pattern as you know this 
the half of 13 is 6.5 so from here to here we're going to measure 6.5 and I've got my ruler my measuring tape and I'm going to say from the waist down it's 6.5 and I made my mark and from here the front waist 6.5 and I measured it down and all I simply do is I draw in the new the new dot line so like so so now I've got my basic dot line so this new pattern now goes as is as a complete dress and it goes from waist all the way down to knee and mark the word knee so that we know like so like that and now you have a full dress and these can be cut apart